Hello, my name is Maggie Roberts and I am from Grants Pass High School. I was homeschooled until the 8th grade, upon which I entered the public school system and met my closest friend. We did everything together and when we got to high school, we joined the speech and debate team, where we became debate partners. Our cohesiveness and our friendship quickly allowed us to become one of the top ranked teams in the region and we won competition after competition. But when we got to our sophomore year, this progression quickly came to a halt. As we grew older, we began to realize that we had a stark contrast in our core belief systems, and it was evident in our friendship and beyond. We allowed our disagreements to affect our debating skills. We competed at only one tournament my sophomore year, and it was a disaster. We ended up debating more with each other than we did the opposing team. This difference began to erode our friendship and make it seem impossible to work together efficiently and converse rationally. Why? because we believed that our differences were too great for us to remain friends. But I get, began to ponder this decision. Why should I give up such a valuable friendship and rewarding partner merely because we think differently? We're going to have to interact with a wide variety of people throughout our lives, so why not learn from them? Having a rapport with someone who sees the world differently from you is not dangerous. It helps you to see the world in a new way, allow your views to adapt, and to strengthen your own personal beliefs. But most of all, to be respectful. Because true debate is about an exchange of ideas. And this is difficult in a society that places a lot of value on putting us as individuals into boxes labeled with our political affiliation, religious beliefs, race, etc. So we as individuals need to take the initiative to bring about this change ourselves. My friend and I were able to learn this lesson and we are now able to converse freely on all levels and we actually use our differences in, in belief systems to our advantage in debate. So much so that we were able to qualify and compete at the national debate competition in Kansas City last summer. In a country that allows itself to be separated by political parties and religious beliefs, this open-mindedness is vital in bringing about change. After this experience, I was able to help organize a calm and mediated debate between the two political organizations at my school. And it was really beneficial because it allowed for an open exchange of ideas while also letting us understand both sides. It really helped me learn the importance of this attribute. At American University, I hope to join the debate team and also become really involved in the AU Center for Community Engagement and Service. This, so I can continue to work with people to bring about change in society regardless of opinion and belief. Upon graduation, I plan to attend law school, specialize in criminal law, become a prosecuting attorney, and eventually a judge. My philosophy will help me and to make decisions that will better my society as a whole as a judge. And ultimately, this experience has allowed me to become a better balanced individual that is ready to respectfully and professionally bring about change in our society. Separation based on beliefs does not open the way for change. Understanding each other as human beings does. Thank you.